Right. I'd like to talk a little bit more about absolute value equations, particularly what the absolute value represents geometrically. So the absolute value of A, remember, is the distance of the, the number from zero. So here we have a number line. Let's give it some direction. There's a positive uh, direction. We've got uh, A <coughs> and the opposite of A. And both of these numbers, the opposite of A and A, are a distance A from zero. So we could start at zero and march out. Um, a distance of A, given by the absolute value of A, and reach A. Or we could march the same distance away from zero uh, to the left, and that would also be a distance absolute value of A. Okay, uh, now we might, and this is a typical expression that you see a lot, the absolute value of X minus A. All right, well, X minus A is the difference between X and A. And so the absolute value of that is talking about the difference, distance of the difference between X and A, as in how far is X away from A, right? So this is a way to express how far X is away from A. So we'll draw the same picture here. Instead of zero, we'll have A. And then we can go up or down some distance. some variable distance, say a uh, plus x or a minus x, and that's going to be the difference, distance between x minus a, either way. All right, so um, the absolute value of x minus a, that is the distance between x and a, and we can use that fact to solve well, absolute value equations that look like this. So we have x minus 5, absolute value. So we're saying, well, how far, um, how far is x away from 5 here? And we're saying that that distance is 3. So geometrically, what we're doing is we're looking at 5, and we're saying, okay, what numbers are 3 away from 5? Okay, well, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is 3 in its way. Also, 5, 4, 3, 2. 2 is also 3 units away. So the solution to this equation is going to be 2 and 8. Because 2 and 8 are both um, 3 units away from 5. All right, solving that uh, algebraically, as we did before, what we do is we take x minus 5, set it equal to 3, add the 5 and get the 8. We can also take the x minus 5 and set that equal to negative 3 the other part. Add the 5, we get x equals 2. Okay, so there's your solutions uh, algebraically, and then we did this graphically. All right, so anytime you see this absolute value of a number minus another number, think of that as the distance between uh, the first number and the second number.